Older Pacing Mayor of the Year, Dream Fairy Eternal, also Horse of the Year, Patrick Fletcher. Let's start off with you. She beat the boys who recently at Woodbine Racetrack. Another feather in the cap. I guess she just seems as dominant now, recently, as she was at the beginning of the year. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's... She's tough all the time. <laughs> Comes to fight. <laughs> what, what do you like best about her? Her brother is also a camel. I dream for Vogel, but I guess that she's no easy horse to be around in the barn. She's a jiffy, I think. Vogel was. Yeah. Um, yeah, her half brother. Uh, I, I was around Vogel a little bit. I trained him more than I actually groomed him or rubbed on him or anything like that. Um, he, he was a, just a just a real all around good horse. You know, no real big hitches or that I remember of him. Um, I don't think Eternal's as big as he is or as he was. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> John, I, I spoke with Randy Waples, and he sat behind uh, Dream Fair Vogel as well, and he said that Dream Fair Eternal is by far the best pacing mare that he's ever sat behind. Must be a nice feather in the cap. Not, not only are you the owner, but you're also the breeder of this awesome animal. That's right. Um, uh, getting back to Vogel, Randy said he was probably the nicest horse that he's ever, ever driven. Mm-hmm. Eternal, she's probably the... The fastest, the she seems so the, tough. The, the, the quick um, foot, what, what do you call it? Uh, quick foot, mm-hmm. uh, quick foot of speed uh, that she has. Mm-hmm. Turn of foot, I guess you might call it. And uh, she's just got that instant snap on her. Um, and she loves to come from behind. She just uh, she'll sit there all day long. And uh, when it comes uh, down to the wire, she just hates to lose. And uh, um, just that last sixteenth of a mile, eighth of a mile, she'll just uh, um, just refuse to get beat. She mm-hmm. just uh, go, goes on and wins. You know, it's just awesome. 2010 is now a different story. Yeah. Now we're looking up 2011. Um, moving up in classes, obviously put on a show in Western Silk. Tough of transition between three and four. You're, obviously, there's always somebody that comes out of the woodwork. That's right. is, is she going to be as good this year? Do you think as she was in 2010? She is seven. I don't think. Uh, we have, we have to beat them. I think they've got to beat us. Mm-hmm. And that's what I, I believe. I think she'll be as good as she was this year. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty confident of that because the last race she had, she was just, uh, we, 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 we quit with her and she was in awesome shape and, and form. And uh, Pat's been looking after her on a daily basis and uh, turning her out in the uh, riding arena and she's just feeling real good and she's ripping the barn apart and there's no reason why she uh, she shouldn't be as good as uh, she was last year because as a two and three year old she really didn't have a whole lot of work yep. and uh, we just kind of got her started there but uh, she's uh, I think she, this coming year should be a very very interesting year mm-hmm. I think she won't be one of the top mayors okay. Pat, final question. Uh, a few other trainers had her before you did. Um, Anthony McDonald, James McDonald, a few other people. One given time, and she didn't race majority in the Ontario Sire Stakes when she was a two- and three-year-old. Was there a certain point in time when you kind of realized with her, wow, we have something special? Um, when I got her from Marvin, Marvin Waite was training her for John at John's Farm, and and uh, Marvin had a good year with her, made, I think, around 130000 with her, and she won in 51. And uh, Marvin was training her down, getting her ready for me, and he said, she's better than she was last year. He says, you know, just get a little more out of that last quarter flat, she'll be okay, she'll be okay. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, really, she, she picked it up, you, you know. Um, I, I guess, I don't know, it's a little happier atmosphere, a little, uh, I, I don't know what it is to put my finger on. Maybe it is getting better with age. Maybe maybe she turned a corner and decided, mm-hmm. hey, I want to be good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. When you sit behind her like nobody else does other than Randy Waples, is there one thing that really stands out about her when you're going to train a mile? Uh, she's she a terrible trainer. No, she trains every day, actually. She trains every day. She's trained every day for two years, and uh, she'll stop jogging and turn by herself. She likes the work. She does it by herself. Um, you, you're just a passenger. Mm-hmm. You sit there, hold on, make sure she doesn't go too fast, really. I guess. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy your night. Thank you very much. Those are the connections of your horse of the year and older pacing mare of the year, Dream Fairy Eternal.